LinkedIn advertising audiences in 2022. With the new interface, we see a number of different options here on the left. One of the options is plan. If you go into plan, you can select audiences and you can click the blue button, create audience. And you can see that there are a number of different options here. The first category of lists, audiences, are gonna be uploading a list. The second category is gonna be retargeting. And the third category is going to be lookalike. So let's go through the first option, upload a list. There are two types of lists that we can upload. One is a contact list, which is where you upload emails and other information about individuals. The other is a company list, which is where you're doing something like account-based marketing in the more conventional sense where you're starting with the company. Now, the interesting thing about being able to upload companies is that you can add further segmentation criteria that are natively available in LinkedIn. So you can only target people, for example, with certain seniority or that fit into a certain function, such as operations or marketing. And of course, with uploading the emails, it, you can get very, very specific about who you're targeting, uh, but bear in mind that the match rate is not gonna be perfect. So there are two different templates for uploading these types of lists. There's the company list template, and then there's the contact list template. So make sure that when you create your spreadsheet, uh, you're using the appropriate format. Uh, a good place to start with list building would be something like LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now let's get into the retargeting option. First is company page. So we can target people who visited your organization page, who visited your LinkedIn page, or people who clicked the call to action button in the header of your LinkedIn page. So if you're trying to go a little more engaged with the prospects that you're targeting, you would select this option. And then you can set the time frame between 30 days and 365 days. You can also retarget by people who attended or had some sort of involvement with an event that you set up. So for example, you created a webinar that's educating people about AWS. Well, you could retarget the people that mark themselves as attending. Another important retargeting option would be the lead gen form. So we have two major categories here. It's anyone who opened the lead gen form. So they clicked sign up or they, were, they clicked uh, whatever your call to action was. And that's going to include people that actually submitted and people that abandoned. So similar to e-commerce where you're focusing on cart abandonment, here you're focusing on submit form abandonment. The other thing that you can do is you can target people who uh, only submitted the lead gen form. So again, targeting people that are, are further down in engagement. And you can set the time frame of between 30 days and 365 days of engaging with that lead gen form. Another exciting retargeting option is based on video. So we have an option of people who viewed at least 25% of your video or 50% or 75% or 97%. I think a big mistake that companies make when they do LinkedIn advertising is they try to make it so that you cannot access anything without submitting a form, without providing something such as your email address. I think a much more effective method is to get as many people as possible to be exposed to whatever content you're trying to educate them on. And the easiest way to do that would be something like, like video. And then if you're trying to narrow down to specific people to target later, you can do that with retargeting without the need to create some sort of submission form or gated asset. The last retargeting option that we have here is website. So we again have the option of days, so 30 days up to 180 days in terms of engagement. And we can specify which page that we want people uh, to have engaged with or which section of the website and retarget people. So for example, people that visited your pricing page, maybe you're trying to get them into a demo or into a live conversation. Well, you could run an ad that drives people to have those conversations with your sales team. The last option that we have here under audiences is lookalike. So I can click lookalike and uh, in this current account, I'm not able to do it, but you can build a lookalike audience similar to what you would do with Facebook. 